Can you dim a regular bulb with an LED dimmer? Or can you dim a dimmable LED bulb with a regular dimmer? And what do you do about Christmas lights? Can you even dim those at all? All right, so this is the deal. This is what got us into this episode. My wife and I were setting up our brand new Christmas tree. It's a pre-lit tree. It's got the snow flocking on it and all of that stuff. We had it all decorated. We stepped back and looked at it, and she's like, the lights are too bright. So I stepped back to look at it, and she was right. I have noticed in the recent years, LED Christmas lights are so much brighter than the older incandescent lights. I thought, no big deal. I'll run to Home Depot, and I'll get a dimmer and slap it in the plug, plug it into the dimmer, and find whatever brightness she's happy with. It wasn't that easy. When I looked at the plug, it actually had a transformer built into it. So this must mean it's stepping down the voltage before it goes to the lights. Because typically, like this is an LED strand right here, and it's just AC. And what they do is they run, I think they're like 2.4 volt bulbs, and they run like 50 of them in series, and that essentially equals 120 volts. If it's like a 150 bulb strand, they'll put three segments of those series together and run those in parallel. So they pretty much just run on 120 volt AC. But we didn't have those kind of lights. We had this kind. It's got an LED driver built into the plug. We had a pre-lit tree. And you got all the lights tied to every branch. It's a huge tree. So I'm not swapping out the lights, but what do I do? I get on Amazon, I start looking around. I think, okay, well, this is obviously DC voltage. It's stepping it down. And I looked on it and it said 30 volts. So I was like, okay, I'll get a PWM dimmer and see if that works. Now I thought this would be a great chance to take and make a little matrix of different types of lighting and different types of dimmers and then see what works with what. That way I have a nice catalog of knowing what dims what and I can share it with you. So here's a summary of what today's episode is going to be. We're going to make a list of the most commonly used lights on the market. And then we're going to talk about the most commonly available dimmers. So the five lights we're going to cover are incandescent, a traditional LED, which is just a non-dimmable LED bulb, a LED dimmable bulb, and then we're going to talk about incandescent Christmas lights, LED Christmas lights, and LED Christmas lights with a driver. And as far as the dimmers go, we're going to talk about three different types because they're the most common. You have the traditional Triac, which I found you can't even buy now. They were pretty much all LED approved. I went to three stores. And then we have the LED approved dimmers. Um, we'll talk about those and we'll test those with the different lights. And then there's the PWM dimmer. It's something like this right here where it actually, you have to cut the wire and splice it in line. So we're gonna test all three of those dimmers on the various lights and see how it goes. Before we go and test everything, I thought it would be nice to get a visual of the output of the PWM dimmer. What's happening here is we have a total of a 30 volt range. So this is our center line. You can see it from the marker over there. And the top would be 30 volts. And what we're doing is we're generating a square wave out of this and the average of the peak of the square wave is what the voltage is. So right here, we're at about a 50% duty cycle and you can see it's 25 volts. It's 25 because the LEDs would turn off at 20 volts and they peak at 30 volts. So we have a 10 volt range at the top there that we're working with. So as I turn this down and go to like a 25%, you'll see I'm at a two and a half volt drop and we're at 22 and a half volts. If I go full, there we go, we're at roughly 30 volts and 50%, we should be about 25 volts. Let's find 50% right there. And then this would be dimming the lights and then this would be turning them brighter. Now let's look at the 120 volt dimmers. 120 volt current sine wave oscillates symmetrically around the zero line. It reaches 120 volts in the positive and then dips to minus 120 volts in the negative. Traditional AC dimmers use a triac to momentarily interrupt both the positive and the negative halves of the wave. 
This is called leading edge dimming. It adjusts the sine wave's duty cycle by chopping back its leading edge. The more of the wave that's chopped off, the more average voltage decreases. This is what causes the light to dim. One of the problems with this method though is when it's used for LEDs, they're super sensitive to abrupt voltage changes. LEDs don't respond well to sharp initial voltage spikes. That's why they started making trailing edge dimmers. These dimmers chop off the back edge of the curve. This design is more complex and costs a little more to make, but they're much more friendly to LEDs. This allows the front edge to maintain a smooth increase that's much nicer for the LED fixtures. All right, let's go get some testing done. So the first one I'd like to try is an incandescent bulb, which I don't have here. All right, looks like I do have one. That is a standard incandescent, what is it, 60, 40 watt bulb. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a standard dimmer that you would find in a house. It's kind of hard to see there, but there's a tiny little adjustment right there. You can turn it on and off, and then next to it, you can set the brightness. Now this little rig here, the reason it's rigged up like this is this is one I had in the workshop and I could not find any traditional dimmers. They're pretty much all LED approved now. And I'm gonna plug the light base into this. Oh, you can see it's already dimmed. Okay, so that's off, that's on, and there it is dimmed. And it looks like it's got the full range, everything from a really soft glow to off to full brightness. But let's try the LED approved dimmer. So this one actually says on the box when you buy it, it says, you know, that it's meant for LED bulbs. There we go. There's all the way off. Looks like we have the full range. Pretty much what I expected. I would say both versions work on that. The third dimmer that I mentioned earlier is a PWM. Now this is only for DC voltage, so we're not gonna test it on the 120s. But we know that in an incandescent bulb, both an LED dimmer and a traditional dimmer work just fine. This is the cheap LEDs. So whenever you find like really cheap LEDs, most likely they're not dimmable. However, the dimmable ones are pretty close to the same cost. So I, I expect that they'll just stop making these eventually. All right, so that's a 100 watt uh, standard LED. It doesn't say it's dimmable on the box. So we're gonna try the traditional dimmer first. Ooh. All right, so we're gonna start with it off, turn it on, that's all the way dim, and I'm brightening it. <laughs> it's not doing anything. Actually, I'm wondering if I ruined something, because it, you see that flash right when I plugged it in? Yeah, I'm not sure. So it's dim, but it's not adjustable. So we'll see if it still works when we try the other dimmer. Back to the LED approved dimmer. What did I think I I think I killed something. I don't know. Well, let's just okay. So it's definitely not working. It turns it on and off. And oh no, it still works. Yeah, it just does not like the dimmers. So a non-dimmable LED, it doesn't matter if you have an LED dimmer or not, will not work. The reason is, is you've got some really basic electronics in there and it's only intended to work with 120 volts and a typical dimmer is dimming by cutting the voltage. So once it drops below a certain voltage, it just doesn't function properly. Now this is something I was curious about because these LEDs that say dimmable on them, I never really tried it, but I always wondered, does that mean dimmable with only an approved LED dimmer, or is it dimmable with a standard or a traditional dimmer? Okay, it's on, and then we'll turn it up. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, okay, so that works. That works really good with a traditional dimmer. I'm not hearing any buzz. So it seems to be working pretty well. This is the LED approved dimmer. Yep, it works. Looks like it works the, the full range. All right, so now we know we've got the dimmable LED bulbs seem to work fine. We're gonna try the Christmas lights. So now th this might get a little interesting. So we have 
I'm pretty sure, okay, I have these are incandescent Christmas bulbs. Now they're a little bit bigger, but you know, they work the same. Yep, full range. Yeah, they look great. Full range. Yep, works fine. You know, I'm just gonna leave this one plugged in. Now the same lights with the LED dimmer. Yep, still full range. Man, the glow of tungsten is so nice. Okay, here's where it gets interesting. These are LED bulbs, but it's AC and there's no transformer on this. There's no step down or anything. It's just run directly into the bulbs, which I took these bulbs apart. I cannot find a resistor anywhere. So it's really odd. I can't find any resistors and you should always run as a resistor in line, but I guess it's just relying on the internal resistance of the wiring. We're gonna plug this into the traditional dimmer and it looks like they're not as bright and it's up all the, oh, yep, they're not dimming. No, well, they flicker a little bit, but they're, they're not dimming at all. So they're pretty much doing the same thing that the first LED bulb did. All right, now we're gonna put them in the LED approved dimmer. That's the biggest question mark. Do you think they're gonna work? Yeah, they actually do. So that's the first one that we tested that is different between the two dimmers, the traditional dimmer and the LED approved dimmer. Since we're checking things here, um, I thought this might be interesting too. These were actually on sale as well. It does say dimmable, but this is that old Edison style type of bulb and they're actually glass and it has these long LED filaments in them. So this is like a little bonus test here. Yep, looks like, yeah, it looks like it's working fine. So I anticipate that it's gonna work fine on the LED approved dimmer. Yep. All right, I was just curious because I don't think I've tried to dim these bulbs yet and I don't believe everything I read in writing. So, I mean, if it's on YouTube, I believe it. Now it's gonna get a little more interesting because now we have these guys. So you can see some of them are starting to come with this little LED driver on it. This happens to be the kind that I have on my tree. And this is what I ended up having to deal with. So first thing uh, I tried was a dimmer. I had this dimmer right here. And that doesn't work at all. I think the power supply does not like that. So let's try it in the LED approved dimmer because you buy a dimmer, it says LED. Well, these are LEDs, it should work, right? Oh, hey, it actually, well, they come on at least. So, so now we found out they come on, but they don't dim at all, no matter what I do with the dimmer. Hmm, interesting. So what do you do if you wanna dim these? What I did was I hopped on Amazon and I started looking for a PWM driver, which it goes in line and it works with DC voltage. And this one here, it says that it's rated for five to 24 volts. These are 30 volts, but the current is only 0.28, like it's, I mean, it's like a third of an amp. Um, and this is capable of 10 amps to 30 amps, depending on what frequency you're driving it at. So I thought, I'll go ahead and chance it and see if it works. You just have to cut the wire here. You got the LED driver. Like I said, it's a 30 volt driver and it says it's rated at 0.28. So let's get that in here. All right, so what's happening here is we're taking the 30 volts going into this PWM driver, which is gonna create a square wave that has different duty cycles depending on where you have it set. Oh, it works great. It gives me a full range. I can go all the way down. Look at that. That, that works really good. 
I don't know about you, but now I have some closure. Now that I can see what dimmers work with what lights, it's pretty cool to just have a better understanding of the lighting space. And of course, this episode wouldn't be complete unless I showed you the result. I know it's subtle, but sometimes it's the subtleties that make the difference. That's all of our tests. I hope that was helpful for you. I, I figured I had this problem this holiday season, so I wanted to make sure that other people could learn from what I had to go through. But right now for Christmas lights, it looks like uh, incandescent lights are still plentiful. I didn't expect that. AC Christmas lights are plentiful, but I don't like those because they have too much flicker. And then the newer DC versions with the driver built in, I really like those. Those have a nice steady glow, no flicker issues. If you're going out to buy a new dimmer, pretty much they're all LED approved. And just to wrap it up and not leave them out, you know, there's a couple of other options. Of course, there's smart bulbs. These are flooding the market right now and they're getting very cheap. A smart bulb, obviously you don't need to dim it because it has it built in. So you can just set with your phone, whatever brightness you want. And then the other is uh, fluorescent. Those are pretty much gone. I mean, you can still find them. I'm not sure who's still using fluorescent bulbs, but they are out there and there are some dimmable ones. Hopefully you have more context and now you can understand what dimmers you can use with what bulbs. Hope it was helpful. I hope I inspired you. This was kind of a simple episode, but I thought it would be fun and I love testing stuff. So if you have other things you want me to test, I'm happy to buy and test things. I love testing. And if you know somebody that can benefit from the information in this video, please share it. All right, that's all the testing we're doing today. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time. I'm just putting some food in my face so I have some energy. Can you run a normal light off of an LED dimmer? Or can you dim a dimmable LED bulb from a normal dimmer.